Now, I want to show this off live. This is a Huntsman General. I put him in, in Carl Francis' campaign. Carl is about to be victorious in the siege of the Black Belt. But anyway, I have a rebellion, and uh, that's because that uh, you know high corruption and uh, midland has not actually been revived. So they're trying to revive themselves. So I have a Huntsman General. I have not applied these pips. I have two archers, and you see that uh, 120 range missile strength the team. The nation calls. Experienced hunter. Range plus 12% for huntsmen and archers, plus versus large ammo for huntsmen and archer units. Range 179. And this here, well, against large targets, I'll be considerably higher, I guess. Uh, you know. So I'm just going to have to hold the line, because all I'd want is for this to Huntsman just General. be able to you know, withstand this rebellion, but the point is, yeah. 179 range. I mean, that is in excess of what the peasant archers will give you for Bretonna. It's in excess of crossbowmen. It's basically on par with high elf archers. And I'm not at all telling CH to nerf it, I'm just telling you guys, use it in your campaigns, if they don't mess with it, fine. I mean, it's a good buff now that's working anyway, because it used to not work. And now it's working to give this kind of range good. And also, like I said, the anti-large, plus which is large, 8, it is working. That is, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but when your damage per hit is 18 base, 6 armor piercing, a bonus versus large of 8, with the same ratio of base to armor piercing. Unless the stuff is Chaos Knights, they are going to hurt. And even if they are, they're going to hurt a little bit. Anyway, that's it for this video. Take care, have fun.